Uh, before we start, John Romero, J-O-H-N-R-O-M-E-R-O, -E uh, Public Information Officer for the Lakewood Police Department. This evening at approximately 6.25 p.m., Lakewood Police received a call of shots fired at a home here at 17th and Kipling behind us. When agents arrived on scene, they found two males, uh, both suffering from gunshot wounds. One male was pronounced dead at the scene. A second one was taken to a local hospital and his status is unknown at this point. Uh, we do know is that suspect um, left right after the shooting in a car going north on Kipling. Uh, we're following up on any leads that we have as part of this investigation uh, to help identify who that suspect is. The uh, community has nothing to worry about at this point. As far as we can tell, this seems to be an isolated incident. You know, we're still looking into that, but because we believe this is an isolated incident, uh, at this point, it seems like there must have been some familiarity there. Were they in uh, any of the buildings there, the home or the sure. office at all? So the shooting itself uh, actually happened behind the home in front of us that's blocked off. Uh, it's like a fourplex in there, so it's one on the back side. Do you know how many shots were fired? I do not have that information at this time. Sorry, that car went by. Do you know how many gunshot wounds each of the people had? I don't. I, I know uh, would you, multiple on both or no? Uh, multiple on Okay. We know at least uh, one victim suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, the other we're not sure of. That's the one who's at the hospital right now. And is this a family home, it looks like? So what this is is actually a, like a fourplex. So there's four separate residences in this one house. There's the two you see up front, and then there's two more in the back. The shooting happened at the unit um, in the back of the house. Is there any damage to any other um, uh, building or anything? We're still looking into that right now. Uh, it appears that it was a basement that it happened in. Well, actually, I don't know that. I don't know that for sure. So. Oh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Oh, okay. Uh, while multiple shots were fired, uh, right now we're still investigating. Uh, we have our crime lab out here to see uh, exactly how many shots we can find that were fired. Um, so right now we don't have a, an exact number, but we know multiple shots were fired. Uh, as, at this point, none of the other residences have uh, reported any bullets or anything in their homes. But again, this is something that we're looking into. And the entire four is the entire fourplex residential or is it mixed use? Okay. Is there business houses? The fourplex is all residential. So you have four different families living in these units. And you don't know anything about the car that that suspect was in or anything? I don't think so, do no. At this point, we, we, know, we know the suspect left in a car. Uh, we do not know what kind at this point, uh, but that's why we're following up on this, talking to witnesses, hoping that we can identify the suspect. Thank you. Anybody else? No weapon recovered or anything? Pardon? No weapon recovered or anything like that? Not that I know of. I don't think so. Again, it's we're still, I mean, I know we've been here for a while. It's still very early on in this investigation, though. Uh, again, we have our crime lab in there now. They're going through everything. At this point, a weapon has not been recovered. Uh, that could always change.